Hi and welcome to Simple IELTS Solutions. My name's Simon. This channel's all about helping you with your IELTS. This video is all about shopping online and about something that I bought online. This is an IELTS speaking part two question and model answer. Before the model answer, I'm going to talk to you about the vocabulary that I use in my model answer. And I hope this is going to give you lots of ideas for how you could make your answer if you get this topic in your IELTS speaking test. Also, I've got a question for you. What's another word you could use instead of the verb to buy? What's another way you could say buy? Like, instead of I buy some shoes, what word could you use instead? Let me know in the comments below. Right, without further ado, let's get the ball rolling. I out speaking part two topic, online shopping. Describe an experience of online shopping. You should say when it happened, what you bought, what problems you had while shopping and how you felt about it. So remember the first part of this question is what we have to answer. The bullet points, the, ne the, the other points are optional. You don't have to answer them, but they're a good idea because they'll make your answer more interesting. This is the vocabulary that I used in my answer. It's quite a lot of it. I've decided to talk about. This is showing the present perfect tense and it's a good way to start your part two answer and to show the examiner that you can use lots of different verb tenses. Cyber, it's an adjective, and this is about the internet. So you could have, say, soon it will be Cyber Monday, or we could have a cyber stalker or something like this. So when we put cyber in front of something, it means basically it's on the internet. Purchase, it's a noun, can be a verb, but here it's a noun, and that's something I bought. It's my purchase. Looked around. Or it could be look around. This is a phrasal verb and that's to look in many places for something. Turn up, another phrasal verb, and that's to arrive. Phrasal verbs are very useful because they're going to show the examiner some less common and idiomatic language. And they're easier to use than idioms um, because they're just two words, whereas many idioms are many words. And if you get the word slightly wrong, it ruins the meaning and ruins the idiom. So make sure you know some phrasal verbs that you can use in your answers. Keen on, another phrasal verb, and that just means to like a lot. Made up with, this is another phrasal verb, it means you're very happy with something. To shell out, this is an idiom, and this means to pay. If you shell out for something, it means you pay for it. Due to the fact, it's a collocation. And it's another way of saying because, but it's a more advanced way of saying because. Imperative is an adjective, and this means vital or important. And then comfy is an adjective. And that's a short way to say comfortable, basically. Let's have a look at my model answer. I've decided to talk about an online purchase that I made quite recently. That was when I bought this chair, the one I'm sitting in right now. I'm very keen on cyber shopping because it's amazingly easy to browse and compare products on different web pages. So I looked around before I made my decision. I ended up going for a computer type swivel chair with an adjustable seat, which took about a week to turn up at my doorstep. 
I am made up with my chair. I got a great deal and didn't have to shell out too much money. Due to the fact that I spend much of my day sitting down as I'm writing lessons and speaking to my students, it is imperative that I have a comfy chair to sit on. Prior to buying this chair, I was using an old wooden chair from the dining room, which was terribly uncomfortable. I was getting a sore back, aching legs and a sore rear end. Buying things online is just so easy and convenient. It's something that I regularly do and I think it saves me both time and money. So that's my IELTS speaking part two model answer about buying something online and also the vocabulary at the beginning should hopefully be very useful for you to make your model answer in the IELTS speaking test. Did you answer my question? Did you find out how we could say bye? Let me know in the comments below. If you didn't, have a look again because it's in the model answer. Don't forget to hit that like button and also to share this with anyone else you think it would be useful for. If you'd like to see some IELTS speaking part two model answers, then check out this playlist here. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.